What up, everyone? It's Tim Mangala here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, stop pretending that you want it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I have conversations every day as a coach, as a speaker, as a keynote, as a trainer. And one of the biggest things that comes up is, so tell me about I really, really want it. I really want it. And you can even look on social media and you'll hear people talking about what they want. But here's the message of today. And by the way, wherever you're listening to this from, it's a beautiful, sunny, blue sky, 70 degree day here in Southern California at my hometown of the South Orange County. And I just wanted to send my love and greetings to you while you listen to the podcast. Now check this out. I want it so bad, Satema. I want, and you know, fill in the blank. I want to lose weight. I want to make more money. I want to be happier in my marriage. I want a greater relationship with my children. I want to increase my my revenue if I have a business. I want more intimacy in my marriage. I want to have more sex in my marriage. I want to have God speak to me more. I want to feel more fulfilled. Like there's so many things that people want. And I'm going to tell you right now some like really brutal truths. Is that if you just stop pretending that you want it and admit the truth... You're actually better off if you just admit the truth, you know, and really say the truth. And the truth is you don't want it. Here's why I know. If you really wanted it, like if you really wanted the thing that you said you want, like you you weren't pretending, you weren't trying to look good, you weren't trying to not look bad, but you just admitted the truth. You know, I really don't want that. You are a thousand times better off than pretending and saying that you want it when you really don't. I had a guy the other day say, tell me about that, but I really, I really want to grow my brokerage. The guy's in insurance, but I really want to grow. I'm like, well, why? And he tells me why. And as I talk to him and as I listen to him, I can just tell this guy doesn't really want it. Like that's the truth. You see, and there's some context here. I'm going to use a different definition. I'm going to create context around the word want. Want. Like, I want this. If you really want it, like, you got to have it. Like, it's a must. You'll go do whatever is necessary and required. That's the truth. Like, you will go do whatever is necessary and required. I can think of a few examples in my life. High school. I wanted so bad. To be a starter. I was a sophomore. It was the end of our season. It was the end of October. Our season was done. And the coach says, some of you in this room will be a starter next year. I can't tell you who, but whoever is willing to pay the price and put in the work and get stronger. And, and, and look, I, it's my high school coach. I was drinking the Kool-Aid. I did not miss a workout from October to August. Four days a week of hardcore heavy lifting. I wanted it. And I wanted it meant I was committed to it, which meant I had to have it. 30 pounds later, put on my body stronger, more physical. I was passing the eyeball test. Like I was 30 pounds heavier. And I was a starter. I wanted a scholarship to Brigham Young University or a college, a Division I college. And I wanted it. Like I had to have it. And see, back then when I was younger, I hadn't been beat up by life. You know, I hadn't had all these failures, so I was still very childlike. I love how Jesus in the old, in the good book says, you know, be ye therefore like a child. See, children are believing. Children believe. Children have this faith. They just don't know what the word no means until they grow up and hear no a thousand million times. And then they get trained, taught, and educated that they can't have what they want. But I wanted it. Again, I wanted it. So I got a scholarship. I wanted to go serve a mission for my church. That's part of what I grew up believing. So I I wanted to serve this mission. I wanted to go and devote two years of my life to God. And so I did what was required. I put football on hold. I put school on hold. And I went because I wanted it. Now, there's a lot of reasons why. And that's the second half of the want. Like, what do you want and why does it matter? And then when I came home, you know, I wanted to be a starter at BYU. And I wanted to get to the NFL. And I wanted to make money after the NFL. 
See, if you really want what you say you want, and this is why you've got to think principle one, the truth will set you free. Stop lying. Stop pretending that you want it. Like that doesn't help. It only hurts you because you then begin to convince yourself. Right? You begin to deceive yourself. It's called self-deception. You deceive yourself that you want this thing, but you really don't. And so you walk around saying, like, I really want it, but you really don't. And we know that you don't because you do not align your behaviors with, right, with, with the, the outcome, with the desire. So back to this guy who's like, Tim, I really want to grow my brokerage. And I started asking him some questions. Well, why do you want it? You know, why do you want to have this increase of revenue? And, you know, he was giving me like seminar answers. You know, a seminar answer is an answer where it sounds really good. It makes you look really smart. It makes you look really committed. But the fact is, it only hurts you. Don't do that. So, like, stop the pretending. Stop pretending that you want something and that you, like, it matters to you because it really doesn't. Like, the fact is, if you'll just stop pretending and just, and, like, admit it today, Rick, right now, just admit that you don't want the results that you want. And one of my mentors said back in the day, probably five years ago, and I heard this, and it really struck me hard. He says, so tell me, you, you want to know what you really want? Look at what you have. I'm like, well, no, I, I actually want this. He's like, no, you don't. Because if you wanted it, you would get committed to it. And if you get committed to it, you would have it. So stop pretending. So how do you wake up out of this pretending, out of this, you think that you really want it, but you really don't? How do you, how do you get more aware? How do you get to the space where you're like, you really want what you want? The first thing foremost is just tell the truth. Now, we can go across the big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial. Physically, like, just be real for once in your life. Quit trying to say you want to do a marathon or an Ironman or a Ragnar or a CrossFit. Quit saying that you want to lose weight. The fact is, if you haven't lost it by now, if you haven't developed the muscles or the stamina or the endurance by now, it's like 99% like you really don't want it. Because again, if you really, 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 really wanted it, you'd have it. Spiritually, you know, oh, I really want God to talk to me. I really want to have the spirit more or have the voice guide me. I want to be more fulfilled in my, the purpose of my life. No, you don't. Because your behaviors and your language, they align with what you really want. And until you alter your behaviors, until you do what's required, until you make a decision and that really committed decision... You don't want what you want. Now, I want to help you like see something here. Again, you could do that in your marriage. I want more sex. No, you don't. I want more intimacy. No, you don't. You know, I want to make more money. No, you don't. Stop. Like, stop. The first step is to stop the line and tell the truth. Stop pretending. Now, let's just say that you really do want it. Let's just say, like, actually, you really do want it. Well, then it's really simple. If you want it. If you really want it and you know why it matters and it's critical and it's crucial and it's important, then you will go do whatever is required to have it. But man, stop pretending. Like right now, like I, I'm, I don't want to weigh 240 pounds. Like that would be super, super lean. I'd probably look pretty ripped. I don't want to. Well, you know why? Because I'm good where I'm at. I really don't want to. Even when someone's like, man, you know, I really want more money. No, you don't. Like, look at your life today, my friends. Are you still pretending? If so, stop. I know this without a doubt, 100% certain. If you say you want to be a starter on the basketball team, if you say you want to win the jiu-jitsu competition, if you say you want to go buy a new home or get a new car or get your spouse a new wedding ring, if you say you really want to go donate to your community or to your church, if you really want it, like it's life and death, you'll have it. You'll go do whatever's required to get it. 
And that's really simple. That's the first step. You just, if you really want it, you commit to it. You define what's required. And again, we've got tons of podcasts where we talk about this. But my biggest thing of this podcast is don't be like most people. I really want it, Satama. No, you don't. No, you don't. And the more you convince yourself that you do when you really don't, then it's damaging. It's draining. It kills your power and certainty. So question is, what do you really want? And do you really want it? And are you willing to do whatever's required to get it? If you are, you'll have it. I said, if you're listening to this podcast and you have not gotten a ticket to Pro Rev Live in Dallas, Dallas, Texas, October 25th through 27th, listen, you want to come, this is, we're going to really see who's listening to this. For the first 10 people who listen to this podcast and you want to be my guest at Pro Rev Live, which means I cover your ticket. I comp you a ticket. Again, I, this might come back to haunt me. I might get hundreds of responses, but I want people to experience this. So for the first 10 people who shoot me a message, you can shoot me a message to uh, my Facebook private messenger. You, know, you can shoot me a message to, uh, to my email with the subject gift ticket to Pro Rev Live. Like, uh, there's 10 of you that I'm going to gift a ticket to. 10 of you. Because I know we like the, my podcast right now where we get several hundred downloads every day. And uh, especially when I put a new one out. So look, if you want to be in the room and, you know, if you're wondering, what is this Pro Rev Live? P-R-O-R-E-V-L-I-V-E dot com or Pro Rev Dallas, P-R-O-R-E-V Dallas dot com. First 10 people who respond to this, you can shoot me a Facebook message, which all you're going to say is, I want my free ticket. I want my free ticket. Let's see if uh, people are listening to this podcast this far in. Those who want to come as my guest, I'm feeling generous today. I'll give you a free ticket. Obviously, you got to cover your travel hotel, but like that, though, that's nothing compared to what's going to happen. So, if you really want it, you're going to do whatever's required to get it. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.